Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and today we are going to compare two of the all-time greats in bodybuilding. We have Jay Cutler and Phil Heath. But we're not just going to look at the 99 versus 2008 versions. We're going to go through their entire career and look at them in their primes and in their last, actually, both in both cases, their last Olympia. Now, before I begin this one, a little bit of a bone to pick with you guys. You guys have made a mockery of my poll. The polls that I do. This was the original winning video. Logan Franklin versus Wesley Vissers. Then you guys came back in spades. And took your votes back, I believe. And voted for the Dorian Yates, uh, Michael Creaso, which I did do. And then today I woke up. A lot of you guys took your votes back, I believe. Because you guys... Are making, like I said, making a mockery of my poll. And you know what? I couldn't be any prouder of you guys for working together as a team. Wow, wow. You guys get what you guys want. But anyway, this is a very interesting comparison. But I have to admit, I am a little bit disappointed. The original request was for the young Jay Cutler and the young Phil Heath. And this would be the match. This is Jay Cutler from 1993, but as you can see, it's a rusty old screenshot. Not even worth doing. Not even worth uh, comparing. And obviously, Phil Heath back in, what, 2000 and, oh gosh, darn it, 3, I believe? Just a boy. Natural, I believe. So, we'll be looking at this version, and then that version, 2001 Jay Cutler versus 2011 Phil Heath. This is going to be awesome, guys. And then... These two very extremely popular versions, 2009 for Jay, 2013 for Phil. Prime time, they both had a couple of primes. And the cherry on top of this little pie will be uh, their final Olympias, so to speak. Hey, they're still alive, they're still flexing, they could still compete, but I doubt it. I doubt it. 2013 for Jay, 2020 for... Phil the doctor, so pop your popcorn, guys, if you have not already. Get a nice comfy seat. Like I said, doobie, a little alcohol. Your little friends, and join me in this comparison. Now, this is Jay. It's hard to find 1999 Olympia's pictures from Jay. So this is a similar version. I believe it is in 2000, maybe 99, maybe 99. Hmm. I think uh, Phil has him in the muscle separation. A little bit tilted is the camera of Jay, so it's really hard to make a an educated decision. But as you move on to 2001 for Jay, 2011 for Phil, look at this prime time. In both cases, I think this is their best front double buys. Both guys different in the arm development, but both good uh, structurally speaking, Jay's as wide as a barn door. And Phil, he's never going to have that upper body structure. Look at the wheels on uh, Phil, though. Might actually be his, his best chance to get Jay Cutler on any muscle group here. I just see Jay too big, too pronounced. The midsection, just a little bit too much. Not saying Phil had a bubble gut here or anything yet, but Jay has an outstanding midsection. Very tight. Now you go to their second primes, and I switch the decision. I think Jay was far better in 2001. In the front double, in the front double, not starting at a peeing contest or a tinkling contest between Jay Cutler's here, but in the front double, it was obvious, guys. And 2013 here for big uh, Phil Heath, he is just jacked. He's never been this jacked. He was incredible here in 2013. So 2001 versus 2011, I would lean towards Jay. But this, th these two versions, the wheels are not as good for Jay either. With all due respect to 2009. But we can't spend all day on these versions. We have a lot of comparisons to do. So in both cases, let's have a look at their final Olympias. And ironically, 2013 for Jay where Phil was in his prime. They weren't even close. Obviously, Jay got, what, sixth here? And Phil, 2020, getting fourth. 
I'm not mistaken, or he got third. He got third. He should have got fourth. But that's just an opinion. Yes, Jay in the midsection. It is obvious, guys. But his limbs, his limbs might not be up to Phil Heath's standards. Phil's arms look great. Phil's wheels look great. Just the midsection, not up to par at all. Not at all. And Jay looks pretty good. All right, guys, this is fun. Let's go through the shots. And this is the front lat spread. Not a very good pitcher for Jay. Unfortunately, earlier on in his career, they just did not follow him around. And ultimately, I do understand that the camera angle makes Jay Cutler look 10 times better. I think this is from the 99 Iron Man. That's what that front double was from the 99 Iron Man. But I think he would get Phil anyway on structure. Phil loaded with all these round muscle bellies. Here is 2001, 2011. I think Jay would get him because he is so much wider, structurally speaking. Look at Phil's arms. Look at the, the muscle separation there. But this is a front lat spread. Much wider chest, clavicle width on Jay Cutler. And again, that midsection. Wheels too. Now here is their second primes. 2009, Phil Heath. 2013, and I think again... Jay still might get an edge on him because he's so gosh darn wide, but personally, I'd give it to Phil. Much smaller uh, clavicle, more narrow chest, but still loaded with muscle. Just look at the delts, everything, just popping, just popping. So very impressed with Phil in this comparison. Now their final shots, their final moments in time. More impressed with Jay. Those delts seem to be not a popping for Phil, a little bit of a Buddha belly, I have to say. Yeah, let's go through the shots. Like I said, cannot spend all day on these pitchers. 2000 and, or no, 1999 for Jay, correct? Little too smooth, guys. If you're going to be realistic, the young, 2008 anyway, Phil Heath, it's just too much. Now you go to the 2001, and from the side... Phil might be a little narrow from the front, but from the side, he is thick, all the way thick. And he is destroying Jay Cutler in that separation, muscle separation department. Now, keep in mind, Jay Cutler's delts, some of the biggest and the best in the business. 2009, and I think from the side, yeah, Jay, Jay's, he's big, he's big. I didn't want to be that big. But, I mean, look at Phil, guys. Look at the chest for chest. Men against boys. Jay is, you know, he's, he's matching Phil in the wheel department. He has quads on quads there. That's impressive. That's impressive. Now, here is their final days. And I hate to skip through these guys, but there's, I don't know how many comparison pictures we have. Phil's arms are massive. I think his arms were just as big or bigger than they ever were. But does he need that? Is, it an, is there an imbalance here? Jay brought the condition here in the wheels. Matching Phil, I think. What a comparison. Now, go to the side tricep. And I understand this is a terrible pitcher for Jay. Earlier on in both of their careers, outstanding side triceps. Little gyno, little, little bit of a fig newton for Jay. Here's this, their uh, primes, and you know what? Jay Cutler is hitting this supremely, and I have to be honest, I, I appreciate the way Phil is snapping the pose. He has good calves. I just like when he hits it the other way. So if the, using these two versions, yeah, I'll go with Jay. But using these two versions, I might go with Phil. Keep in mind, Jay still looks outstanding. That is one good display. Just like Super Set Man says, he, he believes that he has the best display in this upper body wise. Got to agree. Got to agree. But Phil is pungent. And I know pungent is, is an aroma, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to make it into like a buzzword like awesome. Awesome used to mean size. Then it kind of turned into something like, oh, he, he's an awesome guy. It doesn't mean he's a big guy. Phil seems to be more concentrated, like concentrated juice versus just a really good juice. Do you want it to be that concentrated, though? I think in bodybuilding terms, yeah, probably. Jay still winning on the midsection, and here's their final days. Again, I gotta give Phil the gift, Heath. 
Not calling him the gut like Louis Marco used to. Got to respect this guy, Phil Heath. Everybody wanted him to come back. He came back. He's jacked. His wheels are in. His arms in. And even his chest looks pretty good here. But again, guys, it's hard to beat that display of Jay. Phil might be in better condition. Go go to the have a look at the backs. Unfortunately, this is all we have for Jay from uh, the ninety nine. I believe it's the Iron Man. Did I say? Nowhere near the condition of Phil Heath. Let's face it. If you're gonna be honest, structure or not, I mean Phil is crisp. Here is their primes, 2001, and what do you want me to be uh, generous to Jay here? Okay, okay. Well, Jay's matching him in size, but I think Phil has an edge in condition. <laughs> that's that's obviously me being kind to Jay. I like Jay. Now here's 2009, and Jay in 2009, the back wasn't as full, but I think he has a better chance... I'm not saying he's beating uh, Phil, but he has a better chance of beating Phil in these back shots because he is, gosh darn it, he's pretty close to being the condition, but Phil, more complete. Here's their final days, guys. Phil's not as conditioned here in his last days, and uh, hey, I'll be, I'll be darned, but Jay brought the condition. Actually, Jay's back, not too bad, not too bad. Is he beating Phil? Well, he's closer to beating Phil here than I think he ever was in their career. Here's the rear lat. Jay, what can you say, guys? This is the exact same thing as the rear double. Jay has the size. He's just, he looks soft in comparison to, J to Phil. But everybody would, I think. Look at that. Now, again, very impressed. Not so much from the front. But from the back, 2009, hey, it'll always be the great debate. Was Is 2009 better than 2001 for Jay? From the back, gosh darn it, yes. He's almost as peeled as the 2013 Phil, the, the doctor. Dr. Phil, PhD, Phil Heath domination. And here is when he lost his PhD, or after he lost it. He lost it in 2018. But having said that, much smaller scale, Phil... And he needed that size, but Jay, that back is not what it used to be. Old gray mare, he ain't what he used to be. We're at the abs and thigh already? Hmm. Oh, I suppose we're almost uh, lucky number 13 minutes into the video. Took a little while, but it was fun to set up. Abs, Jay's got, a, got an edge in that. He's tilted thusly, it's hard to see. 2001, again, guys, genetically speaking, and I preach that, your abs set up the way they are shaped. You're not going to be able to do a certain sit-up to get a shape of an ab. Phil was born with his pack, and uh, Jay was born with his, and I think Jay is more favored. And here's a closer look from those two versions, because I don't think that was doing Jay justice. Jay justice. That should be like a... Jay should have been a lawyer back in the 90s on like a Perry Mason type TV show or a uh, Matlock. <laughs> Jay's justice. I would like to talk to the prosecutor. I'd like to uh, call for a recess. I want some chicken. <laughs> 2009? Sometimes. I don't even need a TV. I just think of things and laugh. <laughs> Jay, much better. Much better in the abs. Much better in the midsection. And you go to their final days. Jay is a constant in certain shots. He's always going to beat Phil. Abs and thigh, one of them. All those back shots, I think. I think Phil was always getting Jay, though. So these guys were a, a coin toss throughout their entire careers. And here's their most muscular. Of course, their, their careers did not overlap the same way. Obviously, Jay was in his twilight, and uh, Phil was in his prime, so it was like a young dog beating up an old dog, and you think, huh, that old dog was a few years younger. Might bite the head off that young one. That's, and that's true. That's true. And uh, this is a 2000, Jay. Socks. Socks. Still that clavicle width is very present. You go to this version, or these two versions, and it is less present because... Of the massive amounts of muscle that Phil put on those delts. Not only that, some people, 
they go to flex and their delts disappear. It's not that they don't have the delts. It's just, it's weird. Here, here's the a different version of the most muscular. 2001, both. Or 2001, 2011, I should say. Same as the last pose. Figured I would throw in a couple. We're, you know, we're rounding in an end to this one. This one was fun. And again, guys, those delts, they seem to pop for certain people. Whereas J's, they go back, I think. And cover some, uh, some rear, uh, real, real estate. But either which way, they go to the end. And just like Jim Morrison says, this is the end. Neener, 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 neener. Yeah, I see a massive set of delts, set of arms for Phil. Huge, huge. He had those guns out, midsection. Jay brought it. He brought the condition and the wheels too. Look at that. Build. Who do I think is winning this version? If you want to hear, I'm not even going to say who's winning. I think, you know, Jay was doing good certain years against Phil. Phil probably winning most of them. I'll, I'll give it that way. I'll give it to you that way. Phil, probably, I'll say probably, winning most of the years. But Jay, actually, probably, probably winning the their final, their final Olympias. And I guess that's what matters. Who's winning in the end? He who laughs last, laughs loudest. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Love and appreciate every one of you. And if you're going through some dieting right now, hmm, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's tough. But so are you. See you guys.